What's up everyone? It's Rusa. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's get that We Shop channel music going. Boom. I almost dropped my carbonated water as well as it exploded all over the carpet. One take baby, let's go. So, as you guys see from the title, it is I quit my first trend cycle. Now what? Or something like that. So this video is going to be going into, you know, if you guys have been following this new channel, Essentially, my last video is why I quit my first trend cycle, and then I can't talk. I haven't been on video in forever, and I'm super awkward on camera again. It's going to take some time, but the video before that was my first trend cycle, so I go into, you know, my plans with my first trend cycle. I'm going to document it. My massive editing computer breaks right after that. Massive hiatus. Russo died from the trends, not on YouTube anymore. Russo comes back with the why I quit trend and then I go into a bunch of the scientific reasons why I didn't enjoy the trend cycle, my personal experiences with it. So make sure you check out those two videos. But this video is going to be what did I transfer into and you know, kind of my comparison of this cycle that I originally planned out versus you know the trend cycle. So let's get some training footage going. So this was an arm day. In this arm day, I did utilize some pre-workout YK11 for my lab right now. I'm just gonna come out with a disclaimer right now that this is for entertainment purposes only. I am not condoning or promoting anything. Um, there's nothing in my description box other than a disclaimer and a link to my Instagram, which I hope you follow in case something happens to this channel. Because freedom of speech nowadays, mm, you know, you know it is, you know it is. You guys have been following me forever. So yeah, not encouraging, you know, consult your doctor with anything revolving your health. And I am personally just being completely outright honest and not lying, not trying to con you into buying sawdust supplements. I'm just, you know, saying, you know, <laughs> what I'm doing. Here's my side effects. Here's, you know, my experience. So take it or leave it with a grain of salt and click off now if you're offended. So this day, <clears throat> like I said, was arm and shoulder day. My shoulders were pretty gassed from a workout earlier in the week. So it was mostly hypertrophy arm day just to get a pump and get some video footage of a physique update. So yeah, I utilized the YK11 pre-workout for my lab rat at 10 milligrams. And my main cycle has been consisting of dun, 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 MK677 to heal my skin. <clears throat> So my acne has been a big issue and I've been trying to heal it without Accutane. So far, it's been a slow process, but my skin has improved over the past couple months. We'll see if I can completely clear it or if I have to jump on the Accutane bandwagon. Moving on is my test base, which is 300 sus per week. It's Zemestane for my lab rat to keep the estrogen in control and Stacked on top of that is a selective androgen receptor modulator for my lab rat, RAD140, which is giving the hardness vascularity effect. <clears throat> so that is what I switched into. And in my opinion, I'm making better progress, if not the same progress, with so many less side effects, especially psychological, than the trend. And you can see from the physique update that I think my look is pretty rivaled to that on trend anyways. I wasn't really, you know, I didn't really enjoy that trend run at all, to be honest. But like I said, I think this look is rivaling and I'm currently weighing in at 230 pounds in the morning at 5'11-ish. <clears throat> so just under six foot. So yeah, that's the heaviest I've ever been and I'm leaner than I was last year at the peak of my bulk by a long shot. I was so fat and marshmallowy. I think I got up to like 229. And this is like I'm starting my bulk. And I'm taking this bulk a lot slower because I'm already so heavy. But <clears throat> yeah, that's how I'm looking. Overall, my cardio has been pretty consistent. I've been adding in more cardio that, 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 to this bulk than last bulk to minimize fat gain and just to keep my cardio in check. You know, in my previous life, I was a long distance runner and I used to run 12 miles a day. 
So I really don't mind cardio at all. And I've been doing the stairs. The only day I don't do cardio is um, leg day. Because obvious reasons, my legs are destroyed by the end of it. But yeah, that is pretty much the updated new cycle. And what I'm probably going to run for the next probably month-ish. And then PCT take a break, get blood's done. And my goals moving forward <clears throat> is after that PCT get my bloods done, go into more of a nandrolone based bulk and then cut and compete in NPC Classic Physique earlier next year at a local level. And that's the goal. So if you guys want to follow along and see my progress, feel free to. And I'll try and communicate as effectively as possible what I can and I'm allowed to. Um, moving forward so I'm gonna leave this question for you guys to answer in the comment section down below so I need to find more sustainable content to move into for this channel and I don't really know you know which way to take this channel you know I know a lot of you guys follow me for this type of content that I'm making right now I just don't think it's that sustainable on this platform Again, Anabolic TV is going to be opening up channels and I'm going to be able to have my own channel where all my old videos and videos like this will reside. But I still want a presence on YouTube as it is the most effective way to organically grow and you know have new people check out your stuff. So I really want to hear from you guys. What do you guys want to see other than this type of stuff? Because I don't know how long I can continue this. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see as far as video content wise. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this channel around to old subscribers. I know I'm missing about, you know, eight, 9,000 of you guys on this channel. No big deal. And follow me on Instagram at Russo Lifts. I do plan on continuing to make content if I'm allowed to. So I appreciate everyone who has still been following me and begging me to make a video. You guys are awesome, and I really appreciate everyone reaching out. Well, we'll take this one video at a time. I'm just trying to get back on camera and be you know, more comfortable on camera, it's been a while. So I'll see you guys in the next video.